If you're a man, then it is absolutely unacceptable to have bitch tits, man boobs, or whatever you want to call it. Under any circumstance, is it acceptable to have tits as a man? So why are there so many men out there that have bitch tits and do not give a single fuck? I'm genuinely asking because it's unacceptable. It seems to be more and more accepted by society nowadays because it seems like every man has a beer gut and a pair of bitch tits. And I think that's why so many people don't do anything about it. It's because it's basically the norm now. I'm here to tell you that your health is more of a priority. Like I'm all for feeling confident in your skin and you know feeling great about yourself, but your health is always gonna be a priority. Your health is everything. What's even crazier to me is that getting fat, getting bitch tits is not an overnight process. It takes months and months or years and years of constantly fucking up your diet. And then these same people think that getting ripped, jacked or shredded, getting a six pack is an overnight quick process. Like. If it, if it took you so long to get fat, what makes you think it's gonna be so easy and quick to get all that, take all that fat off? People are fat because they've been doing this shit for years and years, and that's what you need to understand. And I'm sorry, but this is not okay. You need to set in a good example for those around you. Your kids, your wife, or maybe you don't have kids and wife yet, but parents, friends, other, other family members, you need to set a good example. You have more of an influence over people than you really realize. You going out and drinking all the time, getting fucked up, Eating junk food, smoking weed makes you hungry and lazy all the time. Is that really what you think you deserve? I know you and your friends love to do that shit on the weekends, but it really comes down to who you surround yourself with. Because if you surround yourself with individuals who want to do better for themselves, work out, eat healthy, then I promise you'd be doing the same thing. That would seem like the normal thing to do instead of doing all these bullshit habits that you're doing right now that have led you to get into the shape you're in that have put you in the health situation that you're in right now. And you never stop to think about this because you value your current comfort over your future comfort. You're doing what feels good in the moment and then just feeling straight remorse and regret after. Think about it like a long night of drinking, just getting absolutely hammered and eating shit food. How do you feel the next day? Pretty shitty. You probably wake up at noon and then don't do shit the rest of the day. Maybe go out, go to Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, just eat some sort of fast food because ah, like, oh, I feel like shit, I don't feel like eating definitely not going to go work out today. And it's just an ever ending spiral that everyone seems to be in. So many people seem to be in this, this situation. And it's because it seems like it's the normal thing to do because everyone around you is doing it. Like stop doing shit just because everyone else around you is doing it. Work towards the things you know you deserve. A great body, great physique, healthy, feeling good throughout the day, longevity. You deserve that shit. You don't deserve a fucking dad bod or whatever. You're like, oh, I don't have time to work out or go prepare my meals. Like, bro, make the time. Your health is a priority. Do you not think living a long and healthy life should be a priority? Your health was really a priority for you and longevity. You would make the time. You would get up early. You would stay up a little bit late just to prepare your meals. That's why it bothers me when people say they don't have the time. It bothers me when people say they don't have the time because it really just means that they don't think it's important. People give time to what's important to them. And what's important for most people right now their current comfort, instant dopamine, instant gratification, anything to feel good in the moment. That's where society is fucking up. Everyone's living in the moment because what are you without your health? Like seriously, what are you without your health? Genuinely, like, why are you neglecting your health by eating shit foods, drinking on the, on the weekends and not getting sleep and not going to the gym, doing all these things that are just gonna be detrimental to your health in the short and long term? Why do you not wanna level up? Isn't that what you deserve? Don't you wanna become the best version of yourself? and set a good example for those around you? I'm sure you'd wanna show up to places and turn heads and just be treated with all the respect in the world. Whether you know it or not, people are rooting for you. They may not outright say it to your face, but if they look up to you and you have some sort of influence over them, they are looking up to you, bro. That's why you need to take your health and everything else in your life serious. Like you can't tell me people give just as much respect to fat people as they do to jacked people. Someone who's well-groomed, takes care of themselves, in great shape, has a six pack, Smells good even. Like you cannot tell me that person gets less respect than someone who's fat and I don't know, just fucking smells bad or whatever. Like you might be saying I'm being judgmental or whatever, but that's just the society we live in. Like I don't make the rules. I'm just saying how it is. The reason that people in great shape get respect is because people know they're not cheating on themselves because they know they respect themselves. They're not skipping the gym. They're not going through the fast food drive through every fucking day. They're prioritizing their health and treating themselves with the respect that they deserve. Once you start taking your health serious, Everything in your life will improve. I can promise you that. It's not placebo, bro. Good things will start to happen to you once you start taking care of yourself and respecting yourself, giving yourself the respect you know you deserve. You'll have more energy throughout the day and you'll feel more confident and people can feel that, bro. There is absolutely no situation where prioritizing your health and fitness is gonna make your life worse. Give me one example. Seriously, try. Try, try to give me one example 
where being in great shape and taking care of yourself is gonna make your life worse. You would never be able to come up with an example. Only good things will happen to you. It teaches you work ethic, discipline, and knowing that shit doesn't come easy in life, that you actually have to work for it. It teaches you delayed gratification, which is something 90% of men don't seem to have nowadays. So why do you wanna be average? I know you probably say you don't wanna be average, but your actions say otherwise. Actions speak louder than words. You know you're meant for more, dude, so start taking care of yourself. Start doing the shit that's hard in the moment that's gonna make you feel good later. Like, no one wants to eat fucking broccoli, rice, chicken, ground turkey, beef, clean foods all the time. But after you do that, after you have a good meal, or after you smash a workout, you feel like you can conquer the fucking world. At first, it's gonna be hard to break those shitty habits and replace them with positive ones. But once you do, everything else in your life will excel. You doing whatever feels good in the moment is what's holding you back holding you back from becoming the absolute best version of yourself. Like sure, eating pizza, a whole tub of ice cream, yeah, that shit's great, it tastes great. I mean, I, I know I love pizza, but do I eat it on a consistent basis? Hell no, I know how that shit makes me feel and look, but it's only pleasure in the moment. As you're eating that shit food, it tastes super good, like I, I know, I get it. But after that, you feel lethargic, you feel tired, you feel like you're bloated. Like dude, just fucking avoid that food on a consistent basis, I should say. Obviously you can still have it here and there, but stop making it a priority of your diet. Your body is suffering and you know it, and you don't deserve that. But look, man, just know that shit's gonna be hard either way. It's not gonna be easy. The only difference is that one of the paths you take is gonna get you closer and closer to the person who you wanna become and who you deserve to become. You know you deserve better, bro.